Now let's take a short quiz on this topic and let's see if we have learned this topic well enough. First, Raja, oh sorry, Raj and Ram, two friends buy 100 mobile sets agreeing to share the same between them. It is a A. Co-ownership B. Partnership C. Joint Venture D. HUF Business Two persons buy 100 mobile sets to be shared by them. Is this a co-ownership, this is a partnership or this is a joint venture or HUF? This should be a co-ownership because you know, there are two people who have agreed to own, co-own some property. The mobile sets here are the property and they will be co-owning them. They will be owning them jointly or together. Now, to establish a partnership, you need to have a business. There is no business here. They will not be selling these mobile phones and earning profits from them. They need to be profits. But there is no business, there are no profits, so you cannot call it a partnership firm. But it is a co-ownership. Okay. Let's check. Yes, this is co-ownership. Next. Which of the following statements is not true with respect to joint Hindu family business? A. It can have female members. B. A joint Hindu family firm arises on the basis of status that is by birth or by operation of law. C. Death of a co partner does not dissolve the joint Hindu family firm. D. Co-partner is liable only to the extent of his share in the family property. Now, which of these statements is not true? Now, let me tell you. Co-partner means member. So, wherever there is co-partner, that means it is referring to a member. A member is also called as co partner So which of these is not true for HUF? Can female members become members of HUF? No, that is not true. So we need not go ahead. That means remaining three would be true. That is, it is acquired by birth. Membership is acquired by birth. Death of co partner does not dissolve HUF. And co partner is liable only to the extent of his share, he does not have unlimited liability. Okay, let's check. Yes, that is the answer. Next, a partnership firm does not have the characteristic of A. Unlimited liability of its partners B. Mutual agency C. Perpetual succession D. All of these A partnership firm does not have characteristics which characteristic it does not have. Unlimited liability of its partner, it is a feature. Mutual agency, again, it is a feature of partnership. Perpetual succession is not the feature, it is a feature of a joint stock company. So our answer should be perpetual succession. Let's check, that is the answer. A firm can raise its capital. A. By the issue of cumulative preference shares, by the issue of participating preference shares, C. By the issue of non-convertible preference shares, D. None of the above. How can a partnership firm out of the following ways raise its capital? Cumulative preference shares, participating preference shares, non-convertible preference shares or none of the above. The answer should be none of the above because share capital is a feature of a joint stock company. A partnership does not have a share capital. It only has capital of partners. And when partners invest capital, they do not get shares. Only shareholders in a company get shares. So a company can raise capital through its shares. Be it preference shares or any type of preference shares or equity shares. Only company can issue them. Okay. So the answer here should be 
none of the above let's check that is the answer next a and b purchased a second hand scooter uh, sorry a second hand car get it renovated for selling and share the proceeds equally they are a partners b co-venturers c joint owner d none of the above now there are two persons a and b they purchase a second hand car they get it renovated and they sell it and share the proceeds equally so there are two or more persons they have an agreement they have a business of dealing in car they have the profits from it and what about mutual agency can we infer mutual agency from this is mutual agency present here can a on his own sell the car or b on his own sell the car no so there is no mutual agency here thus it will not become partnership it will become joint o ownership okay that is the answer next d and j purchase 100 bales of cotton to be sold on joint account they agreed to share profit and losses equally they are a partners b joint owners c co venturers d none now d and j have purchased 100 bales of cotton to be sold on joint account they jointly sell it they agree to share the profits and losses equally so they become and this is very simple they become partners now one thing that is important to understand here is it is to be sold on joint account and they share the profits and losses so they become partners liability of a partner is a limited b unlimited c restricted up to the amount of capital d restricted up to profits liability of a partner in a partnership firm is unlimited okay it is unlimited 